I would like to start uh, my reply with uh, outlining some of the basic principles of the internal market. So the free movement of goods and services are our strongest asset to ensure the free flow of supplies within the internal market and also it is our best tool to address and ensure recovery for all. So whenever member states and national governments are taking national measures, they, don't, they need to make sure that this is not done at the expense of the fundamental principles and values which are enshrined in our treaty. So whenever restrictive measures are taken, they should be limited to what is strictly necessary and also proportionate, and they, should, uh, they cannot be discriminatory. Also here in this case, um, the measure or when measures concern uh, food supply, it is also in, uh, very essential to ensure the free movement of uh, foodstuff and uh, food goods within the internal market because this is something related to the food security. Related to the concrete draft measure that you mentioned, according to our understanding, the legislative process is not yet finalized. Further steps are still needed until or for the law to be adopted. So we are monitoring the situation very closely and if and once this uh, legislative piece is adopted, we are going to analyze it and uh, have a very close look. Uh, regarding maybe the second question, just uh, from the internal market point of view, I would like to stress that whenever member states uh, want to support uh, local products, this cannot be uh, done in a discriminatory way between uh, member states. So it cannot be uh, done in a protectionist way to support domestic uh, foodstuff or domestic products. 